back to your favorite crochet girl <laughs> and I hope you're ready for this tutorial today I'm going to try to explain to you how to do this pretty skirt and you can use the pattern for anything you want to create and I hope you can understand and yeah don't be mad at me if I use the wrong words for explaining I don't want to see any weird comments because I'm trying okay <laughs> and yeah I hope you're ready to crochet and get yourself a tea and enjoy this video i hope you understand everything <laughs> if you like it leave some love in the comments and let me know if you have any wishes for the next video anything you want me to try to crochet <laughs> and now i hope you have a wonderful day and to see you soon enjoy Okay, you guys, let's start with the tutorial part. So, as you can see, this skirt or this pattern for the skirt is divided in three different patterns. So, you can see here we have the double crochet part. This is kind of like a mesh pattern. And here is the leaf floral pattern, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you all the three different patterns and you can decide what order you want to use because as you can see i use different orders in every section of the skirt and i think that's the best way to explain how you're going to do it <laughs> so let's start with your chain with the beginning of the skirt so if you want your waist part of the skirt to be a bit bigger you can do more rows of double crochets than i did i did three um, because I loved the look of it the most, but you can also do five or less and That's what we're going to start with Okay, let's start grab your yarn and your hook for me. I'm going to use the three millimeters sometimes I also use the 2.5 millimeters, but I Kind of don't know where my <laughs> favorite hook is right now so we're gonna use this one <laughs> and for yarn I'm always using one of these brands and styles for kind of all of my projects I'm gonna link them down below so we are gonna start with chaining the start of the skirt and if you want to learn the basics Probably this video is not the best, but I'm gonna link some other explanation videos down below for the single steps. So if you don't know how to chain, like how to build up the chain, um, there's another video linked down below where you can have a detailed look. <laughs> also, I designed a pattern and in case you want to use the pattern for this video, um, it's on my Instagram in my crochet highlight. And as you can read here, the number of chains you're going to do, um, you must be able to divide it into sections of eight chains. So all these kind of sections are eight chains. Does this make sense? I hope it makes sense to you. So for example, if you want three flowers, it's a chain of 24. And if you want more, you're gonna just add eight per flower part. I hope it made sense. So for my skirt, it's size small, I think. Um, I did 18 of the flower parts. So it's 18 times eight. So I did 144 chains in the beginning. So in case you wanna use this as a reference, you're gonna start with a chain of 144. For me, because I'm only gonna do this um, pattern for the tutorial, um, I'm gonna start with a chain of 48 and gonna show it to you as an example with six flowers. Wow. 
When you finish your row, um, you're gonna make sure that all of the chains are in one line and you're gonna create this loop which is going to go around your waist. So in case it's now too small, you can always add a few more um, chains. If you're happy with the length of your chain, which is going to go around your waist, um, make sure while connecting it now that the chain is not twisted. So I'm gonna lay it out like this. And then you're gonna connect the end of the chain with the beginning with the slip stitch. So just pull that through. And now you're gonna chain up two. We're always going to chain up two at every end or beginning of a row. Now that you have chained up two, you're gonna turn around your project and you're gonna start double crocheting always into the loop on top, so always into this one. And you're gonna do double crochets all the chain long. The first row is always the most complicated because it's kind of hard to get into the loops, but the other rows are gonna be easier. So you're gonna do that until you're at the end of your row and we're gonna meet there. Okay, you guys, I'm back. And as you can see, my work is kind of twisted. So if yours is too, don't worry. You can just twist it right like this. Um, so it looks like this from the top and just pretend it never happened <laughs> and do your last double crochet um, in a different hole and ignore that you twisted it <laughs> just right here <laughs> so nice okay so now that we finished this first row we're gonna connect to the other side again with a slip stitch into the not the first but the second one right here so just do a slip stitch like this and then chain up two again and start with your next row. For my skirt, as I already showed you, I did three rows of the double crochets and you can do however much you want to do. Just start again um, right here and start double crocheting. But now we're gonna double crochet into the usual V, like right here. So just double crochet all the way around again and connect the same way we did about a minute ago. <laughs> Just like that. And as you might notice, it's a lot easier than the first row because it's always easier to crochet into this hole right here. Like this. Than the first row. <laughs> so do that however many rows you want to do it and then we're going to meet for the next pattern. I am back again, finished row number two, last double crochet here and now I'm again connecting it right here. <laughs> the next part of the pattern is going to be this mesh part. It's this small mesh part and it's also again a lot of double crochets but we are skipping one for each hole. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. We're going to start again by chaining up two and then another one so it's three chains in to total but we are now going to skip the first loop right here and going to do a double crochet into the 
not first, but second V, right, oops, right here. And then we are going to chain up one and again going to skip the next, I hope you can see what I mean, we're going to skip this one and chain into this one with the double crochet again. And that's basically what we are doing for the whole row, so always chain up one and then do a double crochet not into the next but the second one right here. And that's it already. That's how in the end you're going to end up with this mesh. So go on with the chain up and skip one and double crochet for the whole row. And we're going to meet at the end. And that's also where we're going to find out if we counted our first stitches right because <laughs> Um, it should end up perfectly fine in the end. So we are getting closer to the end of my row. Just in case that you now um, have not one but two left, don't worry, just chain up one and connect it here. And ignore that you did one too much. It's going to work out in the end perfectly fine. So yeah, connect it with your slip stitch and chain up two again. And now another one because we are at the beginning of the row and double crochet, but now into this part. So always skip this whole part and go through here. Chain up one again and start double crocheting. For me, I found out that I love the pattern more when I not only double crochet through the V part on the top, but also through one of these down there. I don't know if you can see like one of these two because I feel like then it's more in a straight line. I can show you, for example, when I only go through this top part, it's kind of a bit, you know, not in one line. And here it's to me a bit nicer. You can decide what you want to do. <laughs> so I can recommend if you want it to be a perfect line to just use one of these loops too. So you're gonna crochet through this part too. I hope it makes sense. <laughs> so yeah, just continue for however many rows you wanna do this pattern now. And we're gonna meet at the end and I'm gonna show you how to do the last pattern we need for this skirt. Yay! <laughs> I am back. <laughs> so, for the last stitch, I'm going to do again, chain up one and connect it with a slip stitch. Like this. So now we are going to start with the third pattern. In my opinion, the most beautiful for this skirt. <laughs> and it's going to be this part. Um, and yeah, let's start. This time we are going to do triple crochets. As always, if you want to learn the stitch, there's an extra tutorial link down below for the triple crochet. But for the start of the row, we are going to chain up three, one, two, three, and going to start with the triple crochets, not into this one, but this one. Now in the V top part only. So only through this part right here. With the triple crochet and for each leaf we are going to do seven of the triple crochets into the same hole. It's gonna be a bit hard in the end but 
um, that's what we are going to do for the pattern so chip the crochet into the same oops same oh my god <laughs> same loop seven times and now another triple crochet into not this part but this part so we're gonna skip one of the double crochets right here and crochet into this hole now you can again decide if you want to go to the go through the v top part or gonna take one of these for the stitch too just like we did at this part and that's the whole magic <laughs> as you can see super easy it's i think one of the most fancy looking patterns that are very easy to do so that's what we're gonna do for the whole row so always triple crochet and skip one of the double crochets so you're gonna do your seven triple crochets into this one right here all the time for the whole row it's gonna take a while but it's pretty and easy so let's meet at the end of the row and I'm gonna show you how to do this on top of this one so now if <laughs> everything works out perfectly fine you're gonna end up here with your seven double crochets right here and you can now connect right here with a slip stitch like that and it should look like this i'm honest with you <laughs> if you're gonna look close at my skirt you're gonna find one part where is it right here where yeah maybe i didn't count the stitches right so i just i added another mesh chain right here so it worked out in the end um just as a little inspo if um you didn't count the stitches right too <laughs> but if you did it should look like this and you can now for the next row if you want to add another row of this pattern you can now chain up three again and start with your triple crochets right into the one two third loop right here so it's seven double crochets into or like onto the fourth or the middle triple crochet you did right here so it's one two three and the fourth one you're gonna triple crochet so you're gonna do your triple crochets right into this hole it's one two three four five six seven and now it should look like this and you can now do your triple crochet and triple crochet right here Ta -da. <laughs> and it should look like this and now you can continue doing this for how many rows you want to do it for my skirt for example i did three but also in the middle part for example i did four and at the end of the skirt again three so you can just use it however you want to use it i hope it made sense to you and that's basically all of the three stitches you need for your skirt and i'm excited to see your recreations I hope you could understand my explanations, <laughs> even though kind of, um, um, yeah, probably not the best at explaining, but um, at least I'm trying. <laughs> and before I forget about it, if you want this string for your skirt to kind of snatch it a bit at the at your waist, um, you can just start chaining again so it's as you can see just a basic chain like we did at the beginning and just do a chain double 
times the waist length and you can just loop it into the double crochets right here and that's everything you have to do so it's very easy and um, still looks cute <laughs> yay you guys here's the final result i hope you're happy with your result too if yes don't forget to slide into my dms and send me a picture or tag me on instagram and i hope to see you in the next vlog or crochet tutorial if you have any wishes ideas because i don't know what's going to be my next project i'm thinking about maybe a scarf something checkered i don't know let me know i hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you in the next video bye <laughs>